mostly the the uh, um, labor union and the trade union they should they should come together sit with with uh, his excellency peter obi and see how they can work things together i believe that a structure can be built out of, from there because humans are structure not buildings when it comes to political ventures so that's it from my own end yeah thank you very much um i'm the national public secretary of labor party from your first question you you talk about our mission statement and our plan you know to have the party so that we can wait from the hand of the present that have collapsed our economy into the present state. And we have the, I mean, that program is very much on course with other political parties. But you see, we have taken a bold step to look at a man that doesn't have you know any baggage of political issues. Economy, my governance, my officials, executive rascality, even when he was the governor, he performed credibly well. So that was why, you know, we settled for the issue of uh, His Excellency, the former governor of, of uh, Anambra State. Another point about him, why we choose to go to Southeast, is that we want a president who will be president of Nigeria, not an Igbo president. We are not, we didn't go for the president, but we want a president that will be a president of Nigeria. Because you can see, presently, we have the PDP who are trying to return power back to the North, even when someone from the Northwest, you know, it's at the end of the affair. They still have the audacity to insult our sensibility, to, to toy with our emotion, to go to Northeast, to go and pick their presidential candidate. But Nigerians are watching. So that is by the way, wayside. Now, about our ability to manage the influence of people, I want to tell you that because our president candidate is a nightmare now, it's a nightmare as far as Nigerian political terrain is concerned. There is fear over the PDP, there is fear in APC, and that was actually established by their nocturnal meeting that they succeeded in getting INEC to, you know, to cause an extension. That is not only illegal, but very, very vexatious. Because parties have made them, but when they saw that Mr. Peter will be emerges, somewhere along the line, you know, through the, through the, I mean, through the uh, blue sky, you know, the INEC just came out to say, oh, we have given extension so that APC will be able to meet up with the screening, which is very stark to the electoral act, and their convention. And it is none of Nigerian business for anybody to wait for them. But you know, they are giving them that chance, no problem. But we are ahead of them now. Whether I like it or not, we are the candidate that is the candidate of Nigeria who we unite Nigeria. Because as far as we are concerned, Labour Party, the present administration, they have divided us along ethnic line, along the religious line, they have divided us. And we need somebody who we United Nigeria as one person. Then lastly about uh, the, I mean, the, our candidate, it is wrong for any section of Nigeria to monopolize administration. It is wrong for any section of Nigeria to think they are the best. It is wrong. So every Nigerian must be able to govern this country. So for anybody to sit down in the forward of the office and to assume that we are all bunch of idiots in Nigeria, they are where we will sit and accept, you know, anything that goes in their own party, that is not accepted to Nigeria. And we are going to tell Nigerians now that they should look at the problem we have in Nigeria. The, I mean, the, the, the cause is evident in PDP now by zoning their presence against to the North. So that means they have certain things they are trying to protect. And if all of us are members of this country, if all of us are citizens of this country, then it must be on social justice and equal opportunity for all of us. And that is what President, I mean, our president candidate, you know, that was what, what, 
what it stood for. And that is our belief, his character, his competency, you know, his track record would definitely endear Nigeria to, uh, to Peter B. He was a man that in Nigeria, they asked him to bring his three year tax clearance. He went with 20 year tax clearance. I would challenge any of those presidents in the PDPC. If they can do such a thing, we we'll challenge them, they should come, you know, to the force, to come and tell Nigeria that, oh, this is what I've been doing. He has a track record that Nigeria can build upon, and Nigeria believes in him that he can unify us. Because I'm telling you, there is imbalance economically, politically, a lot of infraction have been committed against uh, the, I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, the, um, the fiscal, fiscal act, where you see a government that will come up with a budget. And they will not be telling Nigerians because they thought we are morons that, oh, we have a budget deficit and they are going to borrow money to pay debt. This uh, government that will go and borrow money, you know, instead of them, according to fiscal responsibility, are for them to use that loan to build infrastructure that will even generate money. You see them using loan for the current expenditure. That's the kind of administration that we want to change. So President I mean, I mean, Mr. Abito B is out to rescue to renew and to retrieve back our country from the end of economic strangulators, you know, kidnappers that is currently, you know, holding our economy in the dog -bunner. Thank you very much, sir. I mean, your comments have been very, very motivating and uplifting. I didn't get to see that. Okay, so sir, thank you very much for stepping in. And we'll take some more questions. And the next question will be that over the years, Nigerians have watched politicians switch parties. Today we are in PDP and next year we are in Hello. ABC. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, Hello, okay. we can hear you. Go on, lady. Okay, so we've watched politicians, Nigerians generally have watched politicians switch between parties, you know, the big parties in Nigeria, we will hope that, uh, we've also hope that another party would emerge that will totally be different. Now, the question is, is the Labour Party that new party? And how is the Labour Party different from the other parties that we have always known? Well, uh, our, our, our constitutional manifesto is based on social justice and equal opportunity for Nigeria. And we have a lot of Nigerians that we are sponsored in this party. But because our constitution, our manifesto, is the quality is identical to their own belief, you will see that they will jump ship. We have the lack of even the president, deputy senate president, got elected. Ovi Omagegi got elected on the platform of the Labour Party. He defected because our ideology does not suit their own. Our ideology is, is about pro poor, you know, the pro people, we are with the NSC, we are with the TUC, it's about our concern for Nigerians, but their own is about their own preference. And it's evident in the form they sold for 100 million. And their national chairman came on air to insult Nigeria that once you are not able to pay 100 million, you have no business to govern Nigeria. Are you there? And you was a man that is standing trial for corruption in here, the ideology, ideological difference that they, I mean, they cannot, you know, conform themselves to in labor party. We have government people. He also said he was in labor party from PDP three months election. He came labor party, you know, gave him, you know, the honor and he became the governor. But along the line, the normal style, I repeat, the labor party governor and not the party. If we if the president today in, 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 in the B, he's not the leader of the party. He's the leader of the government while the party will be adapted in our constitution. So a lot of people are not ready to conform themselves, you know, to this ideology. And that's why you see them not fishing. We have a lot of them in that of them. One part, I mean, like, uh, some say from uh, Benway, the man just decided to cross the APC, you know, you saw Abe Gunde, you know, he just decided to cross the four court now began to remove them from their seat, to declare their seat vacant, which is a good omen. Because when a political party rejected you and you find your way to another one, only for you now to run back to that party 
I, I consider such a party they are forming. Once you are left a party and somebody else gave you the, the lifeline, what, what, what business do you have? But let me tell you what they are causing the national case. Our, our, our house of bread in Benue State, something, told us that they want to go and join the mainstream. But that was the mainstream that, that rejected it in 2019 election. He said he wants to go and join the mainstream because when they share money, they don't, they don't give it. Is it there to share money or to be responded to the constituency that sent to the National Assembly? So that is the kind of problem that we have. And we, are, again, we stood by our, our constitution. We stand by our manifesto. Those who want to govern must comport themselves. And that is the, I mean, that is the kind of uh, thing we, we saw in uh, Mr. Peter B. Because he read to our manifesto, he read to the constitution, and he said, oh, on this platform, I am okay with it. Because it's not corrupt. It's a governor that ESCC has never written one letter to. After he had left office, and all of you knew what had been going on in Anambra, a, go a governor was kidnapped was in Anambra. Senators are going to court up and down. Former governors, you know, have been going to court. The one that John left in Anambra said, well, arrested on the day he handed over. It's only Obi that stood out. That's why I said he, he, he has no baggage of corruption, you know, <clears throat> on, on his neck. So once a man are proving himself like that, what are we looking for again? He shows that we are not parallel line like others that can come together and rescue our country from this cruelest administration of APC and Ditto, the PDP that, that own our country for 16 years. Thank you very much um, for that one. Now we'll go over to the next question, which is with the entrance of Peter Obi and Pat Utomi into the Labour Party, do you see the Labour Party give the two major parties, PDP and APC, a major run for the money? Let me let me sound let me let me just sound very uh, modest here. The entrance of Mr. Peter B and uh, Dr. Patutomi, Professor Patutomi, made our website to crash because the people that want to join, they are just too much. You know, the inflow is too much. You know, for the processing to register them, and that's why you know. We have a crash. Number two, as I speak to you, I am from Ogun State. The senatorial primary that is coming. In Ogun State alone, I have nothing less than 14, both Nigerian and diaspora that, are, that said they are coming on by, by this week so that they can partake you know, in the primary. It will be. Are you there? Hello. We are with you. We are with you. Okay. I think our guest is having network okay. issues. We lost that um, network would have given some issues and then it dropped. Let's hope that he'll come back, okay? While he's coming, that was uh, Mr. Abayomi Olua Femi. He's the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party. Uh, he's been doing justice to some questions that we've thrown of him, even though that he wasn't our guest, but he's doing awesomely well. And I really wanna appreciate every one of you for being here. Now I'll take this time to also encourage you to visit our social media platforms Facebook, Instagram, and also subscribe to our YouTube channels as we come up with updates on our YouTube channel. That way, you get some more information. All right, while we wait for our guests to come in, um, you, you have heard some of the things our guests have said in place of our original guests. Do we have any, what is your response so far with some of the, his response to the questions? Any contributor at this point? Yes, Dan, can I say something? Yes, yes. Yeah, so. Yes, uh, when he comes back, I like uh, to be post that he says the Labour Party is pro poor and all that stuff. And he was condemning the very high fees uh, charged by PDP and APC. Um, it would be proper to ask him that the minimum wage in Nigeria, 
by thousand naira, which some says I'm not even able to pay. It's labor requesting for one million for House of Assembly, three million for Senate and House of Reps. Is that not also extremist? And they are proper to make it more realistic. Because um, even at one million for House of Assembly or even House of Reps, many willing and uh, able candidates schemed up. Labor should have shown a stark difference by not going that route. Let those who are, they have a screening committee that should do a very good job, uh, quite low, not more than the annual minimum wage. And then by the time the person pays and you screen out the bad eggs and let whoever that is good scale through, that's how it should have been. All this million, million, uh, you cannot be pointing accusing fingers at uh, PP, also 30 millions. I think if we ask him that question, uh, he can back to the labor leadership and so that they can clarify and then back to Nigerians. Right, thank you very much. We will take note of the questions. Let's hope he will um, rejoin when his network is back. Any other person with any comments with what he has said or questions we should ask him? Um, yeah, please. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yes, yeah, um, I think um, we are listening to him. You know, sometimes um, uh, politicians, they tend to give us um, hope at all times, even when we know some of the things they are saying are sometimes not very realistic. Um, I think they are just um, facing the euphoria of the moment, the excitement. I think we should focus on asking him or gingering them to do the right thing by making sure they take the bulls by the horn, especially registration of people, um, getting people across the board, like one of our brothers mentioned here, reducing the cost of registration so that people will participate. And um, one thing again, uh, what are we doing? Are we just here to interview the Labour Party and see what they are doing or how far they are going? What about our own input? What efforts are we making to get everybody on board to help the Labour Party in doing the right thing so as to make sure that P2B gets this ticket? I mean, um, wins the presidency. I think that should be our major focus to make sure that we in diaspora, uh, for example, I'm speaking from US um, uh, with the PO, um, P2B ambassadors. Um, so I think the coalition is very nice, but what efforts are we in diaspora, apart from people in Nigeria, making to make sure that this dream is realized? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, our guest is back. I saw him come in. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back. All right, it's good to have you back. So while you were away, some questions did come up for you. And uh, one of the questions is, the Labour Party asking for 1 million Naira for House of Assembly or Representative, that's uh, House of Assembly or House of Representative. It's not too much for the party, considering that the APC had charged, had said the form for a uh, nomination form is 100 million Naira. And Labour is saying that is too much. Uh, a suggestion was, wouldn't it be okay and good if the annual minimum wage of a civil servant was considered? So will you uh, throw more light on that, please? Well, um, if I get to the question right, you are, you are drawing comparison between the under minimum for, pres for presidential form of APC and the visa visa, you know, the income, you know, of the ordinary civil servant. Can you, you please, so, sorry, sir, before you go on, can you clarify, what is the cost of Labour Party's nomination forms for House of Assembly, Federal House of Reps, Senate, Governor, and President? Can you please clarify that for everyone? Okay, for Labour Party, we have 500,000 for House of Assembly. Are you getting me? Yes, we are. Yes, yeah, 500,000 for House Assembly, 2 million for Rep, uh, 3.5 for Senate, they are the President is uh, 30 million for President. Now, when you are 40 and below, and you are even not a member of our party, 
you will not pay waiver and you will pay 50 percent you know of that sum for women it is free all over both the expression of interest the waiver and denomination is free for women So I hope I found that question. Yeah. Is there any discount for youth? For youth, any discount for youth? Yeah, that is the discount is fifty percent. All right, fifty percent. I actually, I'm uh, sorry, um, I'm surprised because when I asked this question on Saturday or Sunday with one of them, uh, well, let me just leave it at that. But our information, the figures we were giving was very different. So you are saying it is. 500,000 naira for House of Assembly, sir. Yes. What about governors? Yeah, governor is 3.5. Uh, 3.5. And yeah. House, of, House of Reps is 3 million, you said? Yeah, 3 million. And the Senate is 3.5 million. 3.5 million. The, no, the House of Reps is 2.5 million. Okay. You know, the, you know, the prices have been reviewed, you understand? When was it reviewed? So that I be sure. When was this reviewed? Uh, before, before the commencement of the of primaries, when a lot of people were showing interest, and you know, one has to consider the plight of ordinary Nigerians vis-a-vis their any power that have been decimated, you know, by uh, our 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 collapse economy. Okay. But the major ball point is the major ball point is. Uh, the youth among us, you know, you pay 50%, you know, without waiver. Why women, you know, is free. I hope our guests are listening. I can see Captain Kasmi Amwafo retired here. Uh, Captain, I I'm sure you asked that question. Are you, are you happy with the fees that is now being clarified by Mr. Luwafemi here? Captain. All right. Are we all happy with this? Uh, do we still want the Labour Party to reconsider and bring it lower? Or is this okay? You can say your man, he's here now. He will take whatever we say here to the national leadership. Prince well, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I'll put me down to reduce the price for the House of Reps. Yeah, I can't, I can't hear you very well. I, I'll plead that the fee for the House of Reps can be reduced. It's too close to the Senate. <laughs> Yeah, just bring your no, suggestion. I, mean, to, uh, I will reply. I, I, I will suggest if, if it can be reduced to one point five. Okay. <clears throat> At least it will help okay. us to be able to. For the answer of the yes, sir. Okay. And for the second, and my own, my own suggestion sir, is that the minimum wage, annual minimum, is thirty thousand per month for twelve months, is three hundred and sixty thousand naira. Can imagine. Well, annual minimum wage. Yes. Yeah. So if labor wants to actually make a difference, if you want to make because you, you may end up overwhelmed by money bags, who pay these monies and then override the system and issue of delegates by will also come in again. My idea is this have a very low in the, around the million naira, it should not be a million for any have a low have a green committee. That will ensure that you weed out who needs to be weeded and you weed out so that the system will seem to be different. Whether you see, make it 500,000 or a million, it's not different. It's, it's, it's in the same range as that of the APC and PDP. But the next thing will be PDP is start by 100 million today. In the past, it's first the elections. So is this same 1 million, 2 million? Then they'll keep on rising till now 100 million. So, people should leave that impression. That is heading in this direction. Uh, all right. It should not at all. Okay. Um, yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, Marissa, thank you. Let's take the further question before um, we. By, uh, Mr. Ruafemi, I sent you a private message, please, asking for your number so that we can have it so that the journalists here will always have access to you. Okay. Uh, zero is zero. Okay. The please, uh, the journalists here. Okay. Sorry, sir. What's the, your number? Zero is zero. Yes. Two double one five. Yes. Two double one five. Double six nine seven. Two double one five. Double six nine seven. Please, can you come again? 
Zero is zero. Zero is zero. Two double one five. Two double one. Double one five. five. Double six. Six six. Nine seven. Nine seven. Please delay. Yeah. Comrade. Abayomi. Arabandi. Uh, Hello, Mr. Bayomi. Uh, there is something I want to say, please. Okay. Yeah, if you look at the PDP, uh, the PDP as a political party, the money that they are selling their forms for the house, the money they sold their forms for the assembly was 600,000 era. And uh, their Senate form was 3 million era. And the House of Reps was about 1.2 million, about 1.5 million. So I think that the Labour Party, as a political party that is pro masses, should even reduce their house of uh, assembly form to even 200,000 naira or even 150,000 naira to be able to encourage Nigerians to come into the party, even with the entrance of the entrance of Peter Obi to the party. So, Labour Party should be seen as a pro masses party, which it prides itself to be. So, the, 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 the money for the form should even be the cheapest in all of the political parties because our interest right now is for Peter Obi to emerge as the next Nigerian president. So we need everybody, all hands to be on deck. So as much candidates as possible, or as much aspirants as possible that we can get into the party to be able to move the party forward so that we can have a widespread of that of the political party across the state, uh, the Texas states in Nigeria. I think it should be welcome. So as the publicity secretary of the party, I think that you also have a role to play as a member of the National Working Committee of the party. To be able to tell the party that this is what Nigerians are saying. And the price of this form should be lowered for everyone or most persons or people who are interested in it to come forward so that they can help to grow the party. That's my contribution, please. Thank you very yeah. much. There are something I don't want to forget about the nomination form. Uh, please, uh, I have a question. Yeah, please, uh, uh, let's, allow, question. let's allow Comrade Abayomi to respond to some of these. Uh, yeah. There, yeah, there are something I want to you know, tell uh, you, our listeners and uh, lovers of uh, democracy about that nomination form. You see, from the Trade Union Congress, from the Nigeria Labour Congress, and from the civil society, they don't pay a dime. So, a nomination form. I'm very clear. From the civil society, they are now full affiliate of Labour Party. They don't pay a dime. To obtain their form, you can confirm from Comrade Kodi Olale that the national president of TUC confirm from a Comrade Ayuba Aba, they will tell you what I'm saying is a The people we normally charge are those normal politicians that will know. You understand? What are the pedestrian politicians? When they come, we don't just normally want, well, I mean, want them to feel. Our party is just for that take. So we collect that money from them. But as a youth and women, that what we use, I mean, that is, you know, what we used to do to them. But for the trade union congress, we have a lot of them in Ogo State and all over Nigeria. Once you are seconded from their end, your form will be given to you free of charge. So, you know, I need to make that clarification. So, please, are you saying that? I, I, as a registered member of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, which is a trade union, are you saying that if I want to buy a money for the Labour Party, I'll be getting the form for free? Yes, you don't come to your TUC because you know they must recommend you. You understand? Because you are a member, you are you are affiliate. You understand me? They are the one that will, yes. that will send the name so that you know Nigerians with their, with their mistaken identity. Somebody can have three, four personal passports. That is Nigeria. So we normally take the nomination from the TUC, from the NLC, and from the, you know, these uh, CLOs. Because those are people that we, that was what brought Professor Patu Tomi into the party. That was Professor Patu Tomi. He came to run. Mr. Peter paid for nomination, but he did not pay for nomination. <laughs> That's the difference. Mr. Pitobi paid for nomination, but he did not pay for nomination. 
Okay. So Thank you. you can see a difference, but later, you know, he withdrew, you know, for His Excellency, uh, Mr. Peter B, during the uh, convention yesterday. All right. Thank you very much. We still have some more questions. Now, uh, it is, yes. it's been... It, Can I ask we, a question? Labour Party's website did go down a few hours after Peter Obi joined the, the party. Now, what are the plans? Should Nigerians say that the Labour Party is competent and strong, ready to take the heat that will come? Because some bigger political parties might want to come in they might want to play around you people, uh, the Labour Party. What's the strength of the Labour Party to handle the weight, the heat that would come after it? No, we are, easy. We are prepared because, you know, our, our flag bearer is a man that is known all over Nigeria. And for the website, you know, we are, we are working on it, you know, to increase the bandwidth. And within a couple of days now, you know, it will be, it will be okay even to even take multiple registration, uh, registration probably even oh. two to 100,000 per day. You know, two to five, five, I mean, two, two hundred thousand to five hundred thousand per day. Our website will be able to, you know, accommodate. So we are working on that. You know, it, it, it's it's something that it is expected, but it has shown the kind of person, the kind of pedigree that uh, Peter B, you know, uh, comes to Labour Party with. All right. So that our time is um, is, um Angel, please let's allow. Please, can I ask a question? Uh, please, uh, PJTV News, can you please allow um, Azoka and uh, Mecca to ask questions and they can come back again, sir? You have asked them, if you don't mind, please. Let's allow Azoka, Onwama, uh, Mecca, Onoha, Prince of Lurum to ask their question and they can come back. Azoka, please. Thank you very, thank you very much, sir. Um, we've had you, um, the National Public City Secretary. Thank you. My question is this. We've had that... Um, Political parties in Nigeria are merging, possibly with Labour Party. How considerate are you people in um, um, trying to work things out in getting a viable uh, vice presidential candidate that will be a very strong backbone um, to P2B in making sure that um, every part of Nigeria is well represented and that we are getting the votes? But th thank you very much. As we speak, His uh, Excellency, you know, uh, is uh, making wide consultations. And I can assure you, so in fact, the request of Nigerians, distinguished Nigerians from the North, that want to be the vice presidential candidate, so Mr. Peter B, is somehow very overwhelming. We don't even, in fact, we least express it. But the moment, you know, he emerges yesterday, I want to tell you that in Nigeria alone, two former presidents made a call to him, and four foreign service presidents made a call to him that, yes, truly, this is the new Nigeria. This man will be able to rescue Nigeria. And as I speak, we have over 15 distinguished northerners, 15 distinguished northerners that are asking him that we want to be your vice president. 15 from the north. I think we're still looking for who is going to be his vice. But our president candidate already has over 15 applications. And all of you will be shocked by the time they zero down on one person. So you're just taking his time to make sure everybody is accommodated, you know, because for now, at least we have been able now to bridge the gap of disunity that was planted by the present administration. And that is the symbol of the nightmare called Mr. Peter Obi. We have 15 vice presidential aspirants now that want to become candidates, but you know, we'll weather the storm. We'll weather the storm, you know, within a week, we'll weather the storm and get a central person that will run the joint ticket with him. And Nigeria will have a new hope that lives who will rescue our country back to the owner. The owner are you and me, are not those in the corridor of power. As a civil servant, who we have amassed over 80 billion, you know, to, to insert. We want to change our Nigeria from, you know, a people who even when they do something wrong, they will tell us that, oh, we can go ahead, you know, and do it and nothing is going to happen. We are told to change Nigeria from certain individuals, even while they are minister, they were additional class, 
and they say they can't even buy aeroplane, you know. So they are supporters. Nigerians are watching. Nigerians are not fools. We are not a bunch of idiots. We will vote them out. I want to, I don't want Nigerians to come together because somebody has a question. Yeah, I want to respond to it. That what is expected? What is expected of every Nigerian is that we must exercise our franchise, we must collect our voters' card, we must support a president of Nigeria and not a president of any section of Nigeria, as we have seen. We must support, I mean, that person who wants to promote unity, who wants to unite Nigeria. And that person is uh, Mr. Peter Obi. But how do we do it? All of us must come out to vote. We, are, we must stand by our votes, let it be counted, and let the result be, be, be announced. No policeman should ask anybody to leave. It is then the electoral act. Once you vote, just step aside for another person, and when they are counting, you are free to make to, to record, you know, the counting, so that between the coalition, I mean, between the voting center and coalition center, people will not go and add three figures, you know, three zeros into their votes. Because this is how, you know, we have people that will just, some people inside the vehicle will write the result for them, and when they go to National Assembly, you know, they'll be sleeping, they'll be snoring without even moving any motion for four years. And they come back with a bag of load of dollars, you know, to throw to people just like the one they did. The delegate that everybody now said they want to go and land BSC delegate so that for the next election in 2027, they can hand $20,000, $30,000. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Emeka Onoha, please unmute yourself and uh, ask your question and make your contributions. Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, thank you very much for convening this um, Zoom meeting and the, the clarity the comrade, the publicity secretary is bringing to a lot of us who have um, several questions to ask. And I am sorry, I, I don't know if this question has been asked before, but because I joined um, about 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, a, a couple of days ago, if a one-time spokesman to the um, immediate past president um, on, on Arise TV said that um, the philosophy uh, of the Labour Party, it's not in sync with that of um, uh, their presidential candidate, um, uh, Mr. Peter Obi. How is the Labour Party planning to, you know, to realign their I, I didn't get that question right. Hello. Uh, yes, can you hear? I am here. I'm right, here. Please ask the question again. Okay, I said a few days ago on Arise TV, a one-time spokesperson of President Goodluck Jonathan said that he doesn't understand how Peter Obi's. Uh, um, economic philosophy and that of the Labour Party is going to align because the Labour Party is um, not pro privatization, is not pro uh, free market, but Peter B's philosophy is pro privatization, pro um, free market. Now, my question is how is the Labour Party going to realign their philosophy to merge? With that of their presidential candidate, so that so that both, both party, both um, both the party and the their candidate don't work in opposite directions. That's my question. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We are the person, you know, uh, whom you are quoting. Where is coming from is not where we are coming from, and what he is trying to the picture is trying to paint is not, you know. Um, our own imagination, whether in our constitution or manifesto. Why NFC and TUC do normally, do normally go against federal government privatization? Is because when you have workers who have been whole backlog of salaries, pension, and gratuity, suddenly you wake up, like they did in Nepal. You wake up that, oh, you want to sell this government agency to some foreigners. And they will pay money, ten billion dollars, fifteen billion dollars to the coffers of government. And some people will sit down to share this money. It happened to Nigeria Railway Corporation. It happened to Nigeria Airways. They said they want to privatize. What were they able to do up to today? So that is the reason. So we are not, you know, uh, 
in contrast with the principle of privatization. But because of the manner, the ways our government maltreated our senior citizens, who, because of party 40,000 pension, you see a lot of them losing their life along Abuja Abaji the road. That is the reason. But when we have a government that is considerate, when we have a government that is pro-woman and not the present crop of you know, economic kidnappers, there is no way we will not be able to work together. I told you before, probably you will not join. Mr. Peter, have you read our manifesto? Mr. Mr. Peter, have you read our constitution? And the thing, you know, you know, uh, uh, fit into his, uh, uh, a dream. What authority? How many people they are going there? The uh, railway corporation, you know, people have died. If fact, it was this administration that said they want to borrow money from the pension. They will go and borrow money from people's pension and you will not pay them. Contributing the pension even yes. from workers, you, you will take their salary, you will take yes. for pension. Yes. When they retire, you will not give them. Well, yes. okay. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Please mute yourself if you are not speaking, please. Okay. Huh? Can I continue? Yes, please continue. Prince, oh, yeah. please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please mute. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, Mr. Peter B, line of policy is not antithetical to our own belief. But you know, the present administration, that is why his motto is that they want to rescue Nigeria and return it back to the owner. Who are the owners? All of us. We must have respect. You know, in our nation, but today politics has now been grown only for the rich. And the only participation that APC appears to be telling us before we can govern our country is you know is part force. And that is what we are against in Nigeria. And so the essence of going for Mr. Peter will be what well, because of his track record in Anambra, that nobody has been able to fault. I sat an example of how many governors in Anambra have not visited. I mean, has not been invited by EFCC. It's only Mr. Peter B. There are nobody. They are writing any petition again that, oh, you committed this infraction while you are in office. You committed this rascality while you are in office. You committed this police officer while you are in office. No, it was only him. And that is why it's a nightmare to them now. We know the kind of call we've been gotten, you know, all over Nigeria. Everybody, the new song in Nigeria, as I speak to you, is, you know, Mr. Peter will be in negotiate alone. I have people that have even told us, they have that told me we should get them over 10,000 membership cards, you know? And we are going to give them. It was because they believe in that man. They have not had any political party before. Some of them are docile. They don't do anything during the election. They don't go out to vote. You know, they don't, they don't, they don't believe in policy or government because they know at the end of the day, it is all lies upon lies in Nigeria. When pensions are not paid, government will come and tell us that, oh, we are, we are paid pension. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll take the next question from Mr. Franklin. Mr. Franklin, if you can hear me, please unmute yourself and ask your question. All right, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, I really appreciate this um, gathering and I um, want to thank uh, Mr. Bayomi Luwafemi um, for what, uh, spending your time to um, brief us on what's going on in your party. But I want um, to ask, so we'll need um, a, a real breakdown of the party's um, chairman in all the state and the address which um, your party, their offices in each of the states so that uh, we can able to locate there and uh, maybe um, get a membership card and all that. And also the, if there are local government um, Party representative, like local government chairman of Labour Party, down to the world level. These are the structures we are talking about. Other than PDP and APC has. These are what they call structures. If you have a party member down to the world level, you view the structure. So I want to ask if Labour Party has gotten such a um, kind of structure, having representative from the state. Um, from each state down to the local government and the world level and all that. That is one question I want to ask. I want that full uh, comprehensive um, state chairman and the address of each of the um, party in each state 
Secondly, mm. is the issue of your Twitter account, your social media handle. There are so many uh, Labour Party accounts. We don't know the one that is the authentic one. So I want you to be able to tell us which of the um, Twitter account is the authentic one and other social media handle. That is um, the question I want to ask. And okay, another one is the issue of um, faction. There's a um, the news we got some uh, two days ago. I saw about Labour Party having factions. So I want to hear from you if it is really genuine or if that exists in Labour Party. If there's faction in Labour Party, no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't. We don't have faction in Labour Party. Uh, that is the work of the few communists, you know, in our political system. Uh, we know where they they, they came from. So we treat them in consequential, and that's why we didn't even join issues with them. We know that they are not members of our party. They tried, you know, to think uh, that can dissuade uh, the incoming president of Nigeria, Mr. Peter Obi, from joining the Labour Party. So they came with some, you know, frivolous uh, write-up, you know, that we don't discuss now. You know, normally <clears throat> when we have anything that worth responding to, trust. I'm the national public secretary. I will have uh, taken instruction from the national chairman. And they will have directed me to issue a proper response. But they are consequential. They are most of these uh, pedestrian politicians and the misfit, you know, in Nigerian society who are just jumping from one party to the other. One, they know that you are, I mean, probably when they know that, oh, you want to get it right, you see them jumping from one party to say, oh, they are your member. And that's why, you know, we didn't divide issues, you know, uh, with them. And secondly, about our. Peter Handel. Peter, about our state of, uh, yeah, the Twitter and uh, when you, we, if once we drop now, uh, when you go to for, for registration, just if you if you Google neighbor or nine portal, our uh, website is there for registration. So they are only trying to increase the bandwidth now, and that is what the party chooses for people to register now. You know, if you for the Twitter, you know, that just crashed. Yeah, that was our Twitter account. But, you know, they are just trying to fix some things there. But for people that want to register, even once we drop, if you log on to Labour Party, so kind of, you know, if you bring out our portal, you see, you know, our website there for you to do your registration. Now, regarding the addresses, uh, I don't know. I think somebody said, he sent me a private message. I will paste the name and telephone number of all, all, of all our 36 states chairmen. So whichever one you now want to make transmission from, you now call. They are all on WhatsApp. So okay. I will send that number. I will paste it. I don't know whether... Uh, I, I know somebody was telling me he sent me a private chat. Yes. Because the number I gave you is my WhatsApp number. So I will paste it. Once I see anyone, I will paste the number, telephone number and name of all the 36 states chairmen. So okay. at least... For you to just sneak up with them, I will pay immediately. We, we are done now. Under under five seconds, I will pay you there. Okay. Um. What about the Twitter handle? Which he asks, which of the Twitter accounts is the correct one? Because there are multiple Labour Party Twitter handles. Yeah, that's what we are trying to streamline. Now, as I said, just give us a few days. It will be sorted right. out. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's take the next question from Olga Adiowo. Olga, you here? Please unmute yourself and ask a question. Thank you. Good evening, uh, moderator. Good evening, Honorable National PR. Yeah, good evening, my brother. Well done, sir. So, my thank let you for this opportunity. I got the I got the information about this uh, interview quite late. Well, as soon as I saw it, I clicked to see if it was still on, and I was very excited to see it still on. So I don't know if you've addressed this issue before, before, but if you've addressed it, just uh, put a retouch again to it. Now, uh, is Labour Party ready and prepared to deliver His Excellency Peter Obi? Why am I, what do I mean by that? Is the structure in, on ground? Lucky enough, we have nine months, roughly nine months to the 2022 general election. Is there structure on ground in the uh, in every local government 
or is there a plan to create a structure? Yeah, I heard you talking about uh, registration, but beside registration, is there a plan on ground to create system in place? And then let this not be the only, uh, beside your answer to your question, let this not be the only opportunity. I think we would want a situation where you would have to regularly communicate. If communication helps relationship to grow, for people to have trust in Labour Party, a lot of people had trust in His Excellency, uh, Mr. Peter Obi, but the fear in the party is, will the party be able to deliver the will of the people, the wish of the people, or do they choose a, an alternative from the available devils? So, what opportunities are you going to make for people to com continually communicate with you? There are Twitter spaces, interviews. I think if we can communicate weekly to align updates and let's, let's mobilize from the grassroots. If people see the mobilization, there are a lot of us who are ready to work. I've seen a lot of agile people who are willing to use their money to work at the grassroots, but they want a structure. We can't be working haphazardly. We need a structure. What, do you, is there any structure in place or is there going to be a plan to make a structure? How long is the structure going to take to come up? And how will you communicate it to the masses so that it doesn't, it doesn't just look like a dream that will be aborted before time? Thank you, sir. Let's let comment and respond to the question. Well, you know, uh, thank you very much. Though you, you came late, I will have to repeat myself. We have structures, and that's why I said I'm going to post the telephone number of all our taxi state chairmen. You know, you know they are, they are asking me now. So it's not something that I will now be writing. I said immediately we are done. Under five seconds, I will paste it. You know, what's up of the, the gentleman that said they are sending me a private message. I will paste it there for all of you, you know, to see. So that you can now relate with them. We have social and local government. We have social, you know, the, the world. But you see, the the, the, the coming in of uh, uh, Mr. Peter B will now even, you know, increase us further. Everyone that wants to join the property are welcome. Everyone that wants to join the property, we we are not like the other you know, people that will not welcome those, you know, who want to make sure they are part of the new Nigeria. They are part of the new rescue effort to rescue our country. You know, from the present administrators and the past administrators. So, for those that want to join, you are very much free. Once you know, our Twitter and our Twitter account, you know, will soon be sorted out. Now, it's because with the influence of uh, the incoming president, there is a surge now, you know, that everybody wants to join. And we you know we are elated. We are happy that so Nigerians can do this. And they are doing that because of one man whom they have an implicit confidence that they can turn the economy of Nigeria around. But if they don't have that implicit confidence, they will not, our, our, our standard will not, will not crash. But because everybody, you know, wanted, well, I mean, wanted to be part, and you are well, all of you are well, welcome on board. And to your question about how do we intend to make sure you won election, it is you and I that must remove this toga of docility in us. We must be part of the election. We must be part of those that will vote. We must encourage Nigerians that with our vote, we can make that change. But when people choose, you know, uh, it doesn't concern the attitude. At the end of the day, we we'll just put one clueless individual who will not be giving instruction, you know, to the landed. So all of us, it's about all of us now. Everyone that wants to come on board of the Labour Party, like I said, if you Google our party on the internet portal, our website is there for you. When you just see, out of all the things they have signed, we play the thing, join. Once you click that, you don't ask for your name, your constituency, your state, your local government, and click submit. You are, you are a member. All right. Um, please, um, let me interject here. Um, we will allow our guest, um, impromptu guest to rest. Let's simply take the remaining four questions in, at a time so that you just respond to all of them, and then we conclude the interview please. let's not overwhelm him with too much questions <laughs> yeah thank you because i just came from masaba exactly. <laughs> <When I'm... laughs> yeah so let's simply take the last four comments please and then we uh, we will round up um kingsley 
Mas é preço lá pedir things quickly. Não one minute please, if you don't mind. Kingsley, please unmute yourself. Okay, if Kingsley is not here, Mazi, please take the floor. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you, everyone. Good, good evening. Um, it wasn't really a question that I wanted to um, ask. It's just um, um, a suggestion that I want to put across to the um, to the gentleman there. Um, you know, um, Labour Party can be excused, you know, for a time for not, you know, you know, living up to what people expected when Peter be joined because they didn't expect the kind of rush and the kind of excitement that coming to the party at the time. But that is only for a time. But uh, you guys, as a as a party, has to now buckle up and you know and try to organize this enthusiasm because it only can last for a while. It's not going to be there forever. You know, in politics, they say that, that 24 hours is a long time. So the Liberal Party has to be a bit more organized, a bit more, you know, you know, serious, a bit more focused in terms of how they, you know, organize this enthusiasm because it will help the party in the long run. Um, little things like little glitches like, okay, when somebody register, not getting a confirmation back because I registered without knowing whether if I registered or not. I just put my details there and then I was told I registered, but I didn't get a confirmation that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a member of the Labour Party. So those sort of things that, you know, keep people unsure of what is going on is, is, is something that the party has to really, really look into to make sure that people have that sense of belonging, you know, that people are working towards the same goal so to say. So um, if you don't have the kind of resources that need, that is needed to do what is needed to be done, you can ask for help. Don't, uh, you know, don't think, okay, because we are having all these things that we can do it all. I don't think the, the party as is, you know, presently set up can do everything, can cope with the, the massive interest in the party at the moment. So it's important that you ask for help, ask for volunteers, that people that is joining the party, if they have certain skill, ask them to help, you know, move the party forward to where you want it to be, to where the party, you know, even beyond p 2 will be, you know, advantageous to the party. That's my own advice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Prince, Prince Will Orum. Prince Will, are you here? PJ TV News, please take the floor. PJ TV Hello. News. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. Yeah, um, just um, I want to thank um, Honorable uh, Abayomi for being with us tonight. But uh, mine is just a piece of advice. Um, we've been trying to contact some of the chairmen that um, has been involved in Labour Party for quite a while and some coming in. Some of their phone numbers do not have access to like ordinary WhatsApp, so you can't even reach them. And these are issues that he needs to address because ordinary Nigerians, you know, who want to reach them based on those WhatsApp, you know. And I think um, that's what uh, I'll leave that for now. That's the only thing I'm going to talk about for tonight. Thank you very Thank much. You. PJ I'm, TV. I'm on. Can I talk now? PJ TV News. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Very good evening to you. Welcome. Uh, my name is Krav J. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I decided to join this uh, meeting from uh, Port Harcourt here. And uh, I was speaking with one of my classmates in the Lord some time back, about three days ago. And I was told that the uh, Labour Party is not actually known in the Lord. And uh, Possibly, maybe they don't have an office or they don't have officials there. They don't have staff. I don't really know. And I would like the publicity secretary of the Labour Party to actually tell us and also know if there are plans on how to also make sure that the political party is well known in the north. Because Hello? we are sure that we will also be getting bulk of their vote for the um, uh, forthcoming general election. And the north shouldn't be left out with this last week. Thank you very much. Much. Rapu Chuku, 
Ufochiku. Rapo Chiku, you have the floor, please, in one minute. Yes. Um, good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you for thank you for letting me in. Um, please, I want to um, ask the 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 National Working Committee of, Leg of Labour Party if they can use the party platform to the to request INEC to extend the online online voters registration deadline which expired this night because you can see that uh, the INEC office is not coping with influence with the influence of uh, people that are going to register now and the, most of them are, are P2B's voters, Labour parties will be voters. So if they can use the, the party platform to appeal to INEC to extend the, the, the online registration deadline, at least for one month, because there is a lot, we still have about nine months to the election. And then secondly, I want to know if Nigerian Labour Congress is involved in, in, in Labour Party all over Nigeria. Then if they are involved all over Nigeria, then it might not be so difficult to activate the structures in every part of the country to be more effective. That These are the two things. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Kingsley Chibuzo, please take the floor. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening everybody. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay, what I'm asking, I just uh, noticed that about 1,000 people debated um, to APC in a kitty. Just want to know the issue and also if that can be avoided. Thank you. Okay, so comrade, please, you can now respond to the questions. Well, uh, thank you very much uh, for the advice given. It is taken, you know, by Rose. And like I said, uh, all of you, we need you, you know, to join us and uh, final the affairs of this country to safety because uh, our country has collapsed, the economy has collapsed. But with the, the coming on board of uh, Mr. Peter B, we believe there will be a new direction for Nigeria. Yeah, secondly, about the NFC, during our <clears throat> convention yesterday, if you watch it, you will see the comrade, Kodi Olale, that the TUC president, who said they are tired about asking Lecturer to go on strike. They are tired about asking workers to go on strike. You know, once Mr. Peter B come on board, definitely all those you know negative biases will stop. But because of the maltreatment, institutional slavery that have been well entrenched, you know, by this ruling class in Nigeria was the root cause, you know, of us going on strike. We have a NASU that is on strike for how much? And you have a government who said they want to be paying five thousand to Nigerians to cushion the effect of you know, a fuel increase. In Nigeria, they don't have database. They don't even know how many of us are in Nigeria, yet you have them. They said they want to be paid 55,000, five, and that would be 20 billion a month. How much are they owing us? That they said they don't have money, but they have money during election period to tell Nigerians, because they thought we were stupid, that they would be paid 55,000 five, to certain Nigeria, you know, amounted to 20 billion naira monthly. So all those negative vices are the status quo that we believe with the competency of Mr. Peter B, we can challenge and we are going to try on. <clears throat> it is a question of good, you know, the, I mean, over the, somebody asked about defection, <clears throat> they are all lies. You know, it's not lodging in there for anybody to say Labour Party making the defected to, you know, PDB. They are their own member, they stage manage them, they have money to pay to press. None, none of our member have defected to any party. And let me let me tell you, because, because some people came late to this program, I said what we have now is over 15 vice president aspirants that want to become candidate to be they are the one making application, not him. So the leader of the party are meeting, you know, with him to sort it out because we have a deadline for submission, you know, of the candidate name and device, the deadline to submit the, the INEC form. So we are really, you know, moving, but we want all Nigerians to support Mr. Abi. We are open to advice. We are open to every help that every Nigerian want to do, so that we can just retrieve our Nigeria back to us. Nigeria 
it doesn't belong to any capitalist. It belongs to ordinary Nigerians. All of us have one input or the other that we have contributed into this nation that some people will start over and you know, they'll just be making our money, eating money, dollarize Nigeria, pandanize Nigeria now, euronize Nigeria, just for their own selfish you know, reason. But this will come to an end by the grace of God with the election and subsequent swearing of uh, Mr. Peter B as the president of Nigeria. Okay, just uh, finally, there is also a plea that the Labour Party should reach INEC for extension of the voters' registration for at least one month. Okay, I think you missed that. That is taking. Yeah, uh, um, that is taking. Uh, part I of the national chairman, 